Hello my darklings, it's your girl Nyx coming at you with March's Witch Casket subscription. Hey! <laughs> so, this month was a fun one because they put up little hints last month as to what this month's casket could be. I thought it was potentially astrology. I was kind of close, a little, a little close. It was something to do with the sky, obviously, and it's to do with the moon. I love me some moon magic. I feel very connected to the moon. Um, yeah, like this weekend, obviously, as we all know, it was the full moon. It was also known as the crow moon, and it is also obviously yesterday was the first day of spring so merry astara to everybody merry spring equinox and so yeah the moon has been beautiful big bright and she has been there in your face and i loved it the whole weekend i did nothing but stare at the moon let out some like you know little little wishes and prayers you know all that jazz i haven't done my cards i'm doing them tonight because obviously i've been at my boyfriend's this weekend not like he's against me doing my craft he's he's fully supportive bless him he is a um a little bit like me but he's he doesn't study witchcraft he he's more shamanic which is really cool um we're both very very open with our crafts to one another he has an altar at his home he's seen my <laughs> altar plus wall um but yeah he's he's very uh very supportive of me so i'm very very blessed to have him in my life and to have him support me the way he does so i'm very you know thank you um so let's get down so we've had a moon casket before i think this was last year and I remember we had a beautiful moon water bottle. Mine's in my kitchen. So I was very happy that they decided to do a different moon one. Uh, I think this one, there's more to it. It's a little bit more defined. Um, so yeah, I was very happy when I opened up. Um, so let's get to it. So, da -da -da -da. Here she is. Um, ah, I love it. So, moon magic. Because a lot of people don't understand what types of phases the moon goes into when the best time to do certain spells or rituals, stuff like that. This is going to help you, especially the parchment, um, which obviously I normally do kind of at the last part um but yeah very very happy that it's a little bit more redefined and specific not like last time wasn't but i feel witch casket are growing better and better each time so if you are not used to my channel hi i'm nyx <laughs> i uh subscribe to witch casket every single month i am not paid to do this from witch casket i do this off my own bank it comes out of my own bank account my own money and i'm not sponsored by them in any form one day would be amazing i would love to work with witch casket in their subscriptions and maybe one day put out the fine please um i have been a major the witch casket fan i've been collecting now for about uh, say about 18 months so yeah i have a lot of stuff from them and i love it i'm never gonna stop so what i do is i go through the uh little pamphlet and then i go through all the items i normally save my favorite one or two items to last and then show you guys and i hope that all this information is what you need to bite the bullet and subscribe as always in my uh information bio part i will always put the website so you guys can copy and paste the website and subscribe because they are so worth it um all i know is at the minute if you are in the uk it is 27 pound per month they collect payment on the 15th of 
each month and the final cut-off date is the 14th of each month and then they shipped out a day or so later if not on the 15th so they shipped out on the 17th which was Thursday and mine turned up over the weekend I was away but my friend uh, who helps my cats she collects my post so she leaves it inside for me so nothing gets potentially stolen or devastated in some form so I'm very very happy about that anyway let's get into it so moon magic the items we get this month oh, I need more walls uh, we get a moon wall hanging which is a moon phase affirmation deck an engraved beechwood magic wand so this will be my second gifted wand but my third wand in total Whew. a moon water bottle an engraved rainbow moonstone moonstone is mostly one of my favorite crystals that has ever been in my presence and knowledge uh, a waning moon letting go ritual kit which is so needed with some parts of my life at the moment full moon incense a full moon witch's brew a moon phase enamel pin we all know i love my pins a full moon magic parchment scroll and as always you get a art print and the art print is gorgeous um so i will go through everything now i will leave one uh, two so my two favorite items i've put behind me so we're going to start off with the tea now no amazing thing with witch casket is everything is basically biodegradable or you can recycle so that for me is is one of the biggest things for me having a monthly subscription box is knowing that i can recycle pretty much everything in there including the peanuts the packaging peanuts are actually biodegradable which is fantastic because i hate the peanuts because they are just plastic foam but they've made sure that they are biodegradable so it's made me very very happy and a bit more comfortable with continuing purchasing from them um, even the tea packaging is biodegradable which is fantastic and as always I love the theme that they have in each month because every, even the packets are themed up so this tea is the full moon witch's brew so it has in it chrysanthemum and dandelion I've had dandelion pea, pea, tea but I've never had chrysanthemum so protective chrysanthemum and dandelion combine to make this enchanting and tasty witch's brew. Brew with intent and stare clockwise as you affirm the following. Blessed full moon, I ask of thee that flavour that <laughs> that favour and fortune come to me. I release what's not meant to be and ground myself with this warming tea. So I love that. And you always get two sachets as well, which I love. Um because if you like it and then you want to wait again until the next moon, you don't have to worry about trying to source the uh, herbs or even purchasing off the website because they do have a website. You can only access it if you are a subscriber. And this is why I think you definitely should subscribe because they're uh, the items that they have. They have past casket items, which I missed out on quite a few, so I'm slowly rebuilding my past items as well. Uh, let's go the incense next. The incense is a full moon incense and it is a blend of cinnamon and lavender. You can definitely smell the cinnamon. Oh, wow. I bet that's going to be very, very interesting when I burn it. I might actually burn that tonight. Because it's still technically full moon. It's just, I think it's like 98% full moon tonight. So, I have time. <laughs> so, that's the incense, which is beautiful. It smells very interesting. And next is the enamel pin, which I love. And it's also a double buckle on the back. And look how shiny it is. I love the card. I always keep the cards. I don't know why, because I think 
the cars themselves are really pretty but oh, I love it I'm going to at some point my goal is to have um, a tattoo of the uh, oh my god uh, like the tree um, I can't remember what they call it it's a vi it's the viking tree the tree of life the is I can never the Istrigal, I think it's something like that. My cats are playing. Um, so I want to have that tattooed and then I want to have um, all different types of moon phases. All the moon phases, but then I also want to have a full red moon, a blue moon, a pink moon, and a black moon. So at some point that will happen. We'll see. One day, she says. One day. Next is the most prettiest tumble stone crystal ever this is a rainbow moonstone i really hope the camera can pick up how pretty this is it's also engraved with a crescent moon look how pretty it is so and you always get a sweet little card that actually gives you information about the stone so, the Rainbow Moonstone has a powerful feminine energy which aids spiritual healing, heightens psychic ability and offers psychic protection. It also helps to deflect negative energy and promotes a feeling of well-being. Love, need in my life right now. <laughs> but I love it because it's engraved with the little crescent moon and I love the moon. So yeah, that was just like a really cute little touch. Next up is the wand. I love, again, how pretty is the bag. Now I think it's like a velvet. It's like crushed velvet. It's really cute. Oh, there is a card inside. Let's get the card out. So this is a beechwood engraved wand. Oh, I'm trying to get the card out. Hold on, let's get you out. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get the card out. There we go. So... Uh, it gives you a bit of information about the wand. So the architectural magical tool you use to channel and direct to energy and cast protective circles. Lovingly crafted from beechwood, a sacred wood which symbolises feminine energy and wisdom. So I love, this is a very feminine vibe with it, I love. So this is the wand. It's gorgeous. It's very simple, but I always like the simpler things in life, I guess. And then let's see if we can focus. Can you see that? The engraved. So we have the different phases of the moon here. It's beautiful. Very hard to try and get a proper focus on it because obviously it's quite dainty. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's so cute. And it will stay in the pouch until I am ready to use it. So next up is the art print. I thought I showed it, but I didn't. So this art print is stunning. I love how shiny it is. They always, I always get fascinated with their, the art prints. The art prints are gorgeous. I mean, even here, you can see how shiny she is. Ooh, oh, I haven't done that. <laughs> I was thinking I'm running low on things, but I'm not, I'm just hiding things. So next up, is the letting go ritual quick kit that you do on a waning full moon i actually do have a moon app on my phone which gives you oh my God, it's so cute. uh which gives you the different phases uh which is great um oh my god that is adorable is that a pencil <gasps> please tell me that's a pencil oh it is a pencil I'm sorry, I'm just falling in love with a pencil. How how lame am I? Okay, so the ingredients. You have four things here. And you always... I think how pretty that is. And you always have a guide on how to use your ritual kit. The ritual kits for me are so, so simple. And it's so crazy at how less costly it is compared to other types of letting go rituals that you can do. 
which say you need all these ridiculously expensive herbs and crystals and which casket are just like no you just need these herbs and this type of candle maybe a crystal and they gave you everything that you need so it's crazy so for this ritual you get a white candle signifies purity and then we have marjoram again these bags are also biodegradable so this is your marjoram and then oh lemon balm and then you have lemon balm i love lemon balm lemon balm tea is so nice and oh i don't want to use this pencil it's too pretty and then you get this really cute little pencil let's try and see if we can focus focus and see that look how cute that is it's diddy but it's so precious that is so precious i love that i'm getting excited over a pencil what's going on i'm getting old man and then all you'll need is a paper and a fire retardant dish or you can use your uh, cauldron if you have one so the way to do this you blend your marjoram and your lemon balm stirring counterclockwise so you want to go the other way uh, with the intention to banish and let go of anything which no longer serves you so you always go clockwise if you want stuff anti-clockwise if you want to get rid of stuff place the can place the candle in a suitable holder and encircle it with the herbal blend light the candle and as it burns note down all the things you wish to let go of ensuring you have fire retardant dish ready safely burn the paper and feel the release as you see those things go up in smoke baby Feel yourself becoming unburdened and lighter and feel the gratitude as you now meditate on the burning candle flame. When your ritual is complete, you can dispose of the ashes and herbs, ensuring the ashes are taken far from the home or buried deep, signifying that those things you want will stay gone. Definitely happening very soon. I will find out when the waning moon is and I will do that because I have a lot of stuff I need to let go of. So I love this because it just all comes in a sweet little package and boom, there's your, there's your ritual. Boom, boom, boom. Bosh, bosh. <laughs> so I love that. All their rituals I keep until I feel it's necessary to use them. Like don't ever feel like you have to use the spell because it's there use it when you feel it inside you or if your mind kind of goes we need to do this kind of a spell then do it don't do it just because you have it there but you're not ready to do it do it when you're ready and your soul your psyche your mind anything like that tells you that it needs to happen then do it so Next up, we have the Moon Phase Affirmation Deck. So last month, or the month before, we're, we're in March now, aren't we? So in January, we had a really beautiful deck. Bear with me, actually, because I've had a really good idea. Ha ha ha! Whoop! There goes my candle. Oh well. So in, Jan <laughs> in January, we had a spirit oracle deck, if you remember. Now, with that deck also came this little holder. So what you, the idea was, is you put your um, tea light candle in here. And then this is the card I pulled recently, which was Limitless. And then you just pop that in, you light and concentrate on the affirmation needed whereas now we have the new moon deck we can use the new moon deck and pop it in a little holder so i'll go through everything with you now i love these cards i think they're a fab idea uh again with the oracle uh yeah with the oracle spirit deck um you just pull a card whenever you are need of um affirmation so i'll go through with you these are the designs on the back 
which is gorgeous and very much looks like a potential future tattoo design and then each deck has a different moon and different picture with a different affirmation i'll go through them very quickly so we have new moon and it is i have the power to shape my own reality fabulous another new moon my potential is unlimited a new moon i attract abundance of all kinds Waxing Crescent Moon, my actions are taking me towards my goals. Waxing Crescent Moon, I am manifesting my desires. Waxing Crescent Moon, I recognise what is right in front of me. A first quarter, my intentions are powerful. First quarter, I have the courage to keep going. First quarter, the universe is listening, I choose my thoughts wisely. Waxing Gibbous Moon, I am aligned with the universe. Waxing Gibbous, I am building momentum, I am unstoppable. Waxing Gibbous, I trust that the path I'm on is the right one. Full Moon, my instincts are to be trusted. Full Moon, I am inspirational, look how far I've come. Full Moon, I am reaching my highest potential. Wa waning gibbous i can let go of that which no longer serves me which is great when you do the ritual kit waning gibbous i release myself from guilt and regrets waning gibbous i banish all negativity from my life third quarter i am capable of setting boundaries third quarter i have the willpower to resist what is right which is not right for me Third quarter, I can achieve balance. Waning crescent, I am learning and grown from, I am, I have learned and grown from past events. Waning crescent, I can resist when I need to. And the last one, waning crescent, I don't need to have everything worked out. I think all of these are very nice and simple affirmations but sometimes you just need to read it you know what i mean like you need it in front of you to actually kind of realize that yeah that's true so never forget that so next up is the parchment scroll i think this one's really good um they all go into my book of secrets now i have a little page i do them at the back of my book um so this will go in next i love it i love the decorations of this it's so sweet so this one is the full moon is the time for our most powerful magic and while we can perform any spells and rituals on a full moon it is recommended that since the power of the full moon is so strong we use this moon for magic where we need a powerful outcome or a big change and each month's moon is particularly useful for a certain kind of magic. So we are in March, which is also known as the worm moon or the crow moon or the spring moon. There's many, many different types of words for this moon, as there are for every other month. So for March, a moon of growth, inspiration, creativity and rebirth. This is the time for magic relating to manifesting a time to plant the seeds for your desires. And then I'll do the futures very quickly. So April is the pink moon. You've planted the seeds. Now is the time to act. April's pink moon is the time to make changes in your life or start new things. May, my bad word. Flower moon. The loving flower moon is here to support your spells for love, friendships, relationships and all kinds of self-love. June is the strawberry moon. A time for dream work dream journaling and a time to focus on your third eye divination july is the book moon take time to yourself acknowledge your deepest thoughts and analyze what you need to do to be happy this is the time to meditate and connect with your spiritual self august the sturgeon moon a time for balance and healing assess your priorities and make sure that you are at the top of that list Find a balance in your life that will bring you joy. Celebrate your accomplishments so far. September is the harvest moon. The harvest moon is a time for abundant spells and a time to reap the rewards of your hard work. This is a great time for kitchen witches. 
and the perfect time to count your blessings and give thanks. October, very well known as the Hunter's Moon. This full moon is the time to connect with your ancestors and reflect and learn from the past. Also, a good time to have a physical clear out of your magical space. Rearrange or overhaul your altar. November, beaver moon, to protect the perfect time for protection and banishing spells. Reflect on what no longer serves you and let it go. Form good habits and break bad ones. December is the cold moon, a time for ritual baths, candle magic, intention setting and list making. Spend time with others and celebrate those you love. And then it has at the bottom the blue moon. Sometimes we have 13 moons in a year. This year, the second full moon in the same month is often referred to as the blue moon. This is the time to connect with spirit. Share your intentions and have a clear out. It's a time to really be honest about what you want to attract and what you'd like to banish. Share these thoughts with spirit and put your desires into the universe. I love that. And then there's a little note at the bottom. It says, note that some of these moons have multiple names and we've used the most common name, the magical information remains the same. So yeah, like I said, there are so many different names for each moon, each full moon. So, they've gone on which one's the most popular that we know of um so yeah that's the little um parchment which i always think is super duper handy and now for my final two my final two already oh my god okay Ooh, which one do i do first okay let's do this one first so this one is the beautiful moon bottle i love the pouch i swear i'm going to use this pouch as well for stuff i love them and then inside you get a really cute little bottle and it will tell you what you can do. Harness lunar energy and add it to your magic. Use the enchanting bottle to create and store magical moon water. Now I think the moon one we had last time gave us information on how to make moon water. So for anybody that's unsure, you get yourself a nice clear bottle or any bottle that has a lid. Um, so for example, this is this month's bottle. It's stunning and it has a cute little corkscrew bottle. So what you do is you would literally fill it up with tap water, you can use bottle water, spring water, any type of water. If your intentions are to drink it, obviously either use tap water, bottled water, spring bottled water, you know, anything that you can actually digest without having negative side effects. Boil it up pop it you can pop it outside or if you don't have a secure space outside you can pop it on your windowsill and keep your curtains and blinds and stuff open as long as the moon reaches it doesn't really mean as long as so it can so it can suck up the moon's energy and then you have moon water you can use it for baths teas um you could put it in a bowl and use it to like wash with. Um, if you're gonna do like banishment spells are really good for that. There's loads and loads and loads of things you could do with moon water. Um, but I love this bottle, it's so cute. It's like a little potion bottle, I really love it. Um, that's, so that's one of my favorites. And then the last of my favorites is the wall hanging. I'm a sucker for wall hangings, I really am. I love this. How pretty. I love this so much. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I might actually put it in my bedroom. But I love it because you've got a little uh, bit of dowel wood so you don't have to damage the material so you can just pop, pop it on the wall. And it would look so cute. I love this so much. I love things that I could put on my wall. I have so much stuff on my wall. <laughs> Honestly, I will do a tour of my altar and the wall. Uh, I need to clean it up. I am a lazy witch, to be quite honest with you. I'm pretty lazy. I need to rearrange, which I may do in the week. I need my energy to reshuffle a few things in my life, I guess. And yeah so that is everything from this month's moon casket and i am safe to say i am another month 
a very very happy girl I'm obsessed as always and I love the fact that they've done the moon again but gave us different things this time um a cute bottle another cute bottle more information on the moon and their phases um and obviously the information on the full moons what they're good for just yeah everything in that casket is gorgeous stunning extremely helpful and i honestly have no other reason or words to say this is why if you are interested in doing witch casket this is your reason why it brings so much joy to you i'm hoping everybody that is a witch casket subscriber and i really hope that people are enjoying it just as much as i am and it's great if you're a beginner and you're not sure how things work quite yet um you're a budget witch like me um this gives you a ton of things for like less than 30 quid a month which for me is an absolute bargain i could go and spend 30 quid on just some herbs and a couple of crystals let alone that amount of stuff that we get given hi Alexa. Are you coming to be part of the video? No, you're just being cute. Okay. She's my little familiar. She's a little rascal. Baby. Oh, hey, beast. I'm my big man. My big boy, Tiggy Wiggy. Come here. Come say hi. This is Tiggy. He's my gorgeous beast. I love him. Purring away. Even though he looks really angry at me. He's a beautiful boy. My boy, be seven. You ate this year, weren't you, Beastie? Yeah. <laughs> I have six cats and they are all very much spiritually connected with me. And I love my babies. Especially Vixen, because she's a little rascal. She's like me. <laughs> you little nutcase, don't you, baby? You can say hi. No? Okay, she don't like being picked up. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, my little monthly um reviews and opening the casket with me i'm buzzed i'm super excited to be using this uh all the items in the box and i'm going to be using a few of them tonight and i will finally get around to doing my cards as well so it'd be great to do my affirmation cards that they got and have a nice little meditation session as well because i think i'm a very in the need for that right now um so i really hope this intrigues you and or it gives you that little push that you need to subscribe because ah uh, deb and ella are just wonderful it is literally run by two women mother and daughter and they do all this it's just ridiculously incredible so i thank you guys very much and i hope you've all had a a, a wicked weekend and enjoying the sunshine that we are having at the moment and hopefully that lasts and it gets a bit warmer and just yes bring in the spring and yeah i hope you all have a blessed week month year and the rest of your life and hopefully i will see you guys next month blessed be now.